If you're a C Sharp or .NET developer and are looking to get started with GitHub Copilot for Visual Studio, then this is the video for you. I'm Katie Savage, a program manager at Microsoft, and today I'm going to take you through two quick and simple demos to get you started using Copilot. Let's take a look. For this demo, we're going to use GitHub Copilot to help us write some link query expressions in Visual Studio. So in this example, I have a simple in-memory database that has some student objects, where each student has a first name, last name, ID, and an array of their integer test scores. So with the help of Copilot, I'm going to query this data, execute those queries, and then modify them. Remember, Copilot is just that, a Copilot. Um, and you should definitely be checking along the way to make sure it's giving you the results that you want. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is generate some new data with the help of Copilot. So I'm going to go in on line 16, and then I'm going to prompt Copilot with a comment and ask it to help me generate this data. As you can see, it's already kind of anticipating what I want and giving me the following suggestion. But this uh, student object, Sven, is actually already a student, um, as you can see on line 6. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with my prompt. So I'm going to utilize a comment, and then I'm going to write generate new student different. As you can see, Copilot did a good job of creating a new student with a unique name and ID number for me. Um, but I didn't specify that it should give me new test scores, so it looks like it did give me the same scores as the object on line 15. So I'm going to quickly go in and just change one of those to make it unique. Next, I'm going to quickly show you how you can use uh, GitHub Copilot chat to help find resources more pointedly without having to go and search in your browser. So I'm going to open up GitHub Copilot chat. As you can see, it gives me a little bit of a welcome. And in this chat, I'm going to ask it to take me to the link documentation. And it's giving me the correct link to go there. This just helps with productivity and finding help resources along the way without getting lost in docs. So I'm going to close that up. And next, I'm going to go ahead and create our link queries to query this data. And what I'm going to do is look for students who received over uh, a score of 90 on their first test. So I'm going to go in on line 20. And once again, I'm going to use a comment to provide some context to GitHub Copilot and let it know what, it, what I'm doing. And as you saw, Copilot is giving me some suggestions along the way, but of course, it doesn't know exactly what I want until I tell it. And this suggestion looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and use tab to accept the suggestion. Um, if you ever forget how to accept it, you can hover over this gray ghost text and it'll tell you exactly how. Great. And next, I'm going to want to execute that query. So once again, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to write a comment. And it's already anticipating what I want, which is pretty cool. But I'm going to be a little bit more specific. So I'm going to say execute query with student first name and last name. It's always best practice to be as specific as possible with Copilot, because once again, it can't read your mind. All right, this looks pretty good, although the formatting is a little bit different than I would like to use. So I'm actually going to correct Copilot because it didn't give me exactly what I was looking for. So I'm going to go back in, delete that, and then I'm going to start writing what I'm looking for. I'm going to save that and let's run it. I'll open up my terminal. I'll do .NET run. Awesome. I did get a bit of a warning, but for this demo, I'm not going to worry about it. And as you can see, it gave me all of the names of the students who got greater than 90 on that first test. But I'd like to be able to scan this a little bit easier, maybe get some more information as to what score they actually received. 
So I'm going to go ahead and modify the query. So I'm going to start by going in on uh, line 90, on line 23 rather. And I'm going to, oh, it's already giving me a pretty good suggestion, but I'm going to go ahead and continue by asking Copilot to order this by student score on the first test in descending order. Perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And I'm going to edit this so that it prints out what I want. Print out student name and first test score. All right. This is not exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go back in and change this up. All right. Let's save that and let's run that again and see what we get. Some more warnings, but there you go. It gave me exactly what I was looking for and Copilot was pretty helpful in uh, reducing the time it took me to get there.